there are people who assume that they are in light. There are people that are like that person out in the desert, surrounded by light. You can't get brighter than the desert in the daytime. You know? So there are people that are in a good environment. They act religiously. They look religious. They talk religious. Their family's religious. Their community's religious. They're involved in the religious sense. They're involved at the masjid. They're, you know, so everything around them, they're not, they're not, they're not drinking alcohol. They're not in the party scene. They're not at the club. They're not, they're not in that scene. They're in, in a religious setting. They're in a spiritual setting. They're surrounded by light. And a lot of times we assume that people like that are straight one-way ticket to heaven. They're good. They're, they've made it. They've got no issues. But unfortunately, even when you're surrounded that, by that much light, you know what happens sometimes? You start becoming delusional. You start thinking that the appearance of looking religious, the words that you use that make you sound like you're religious, the outside of your being, being committed to the faith, you look like you're pretty enlightened, doesn't actually say anything about what's going on on the inside. They could be two very different realities. We have, unfortunately, in, uh, in the Muslim world, this is something Allah comments exhaustively on in the Quran. I'll just oversimplify it for now. Basically what happens is you have people that look very spiritual, very enlightened, very religious, very committed to the faith, on the outside. And they commit to those things that make them look that way. So clothing becomes very important. Appearance becomes very important. You know, pronouncing certain utterances becomes very important. All the things that other people can perceive become important. But there's something going on inside of you like greed, like jealousy, like pride, you know, like anger, like hatred. You, don't, you can't see somebody else succeed, it bothers you. You don't feel even a little bit of sympathy when you're being ruthless to children in the family. You don't consider the people whose rights you're taking away because it's all personal, nobody's gonna find out. You don't see it, because it's not in front of people, so it doesn't matter. What is in front of people needs to look pristine. And what's going on inside is ugly. It's dark, and these people assume that because they're doing good things, they're volunteering, they even grew out a beard, they put the hijab on, they even memorized some Qur'an, they worked on their tajweed, all the outside stuff is pretty good, they start assuming also that Allah is going to really reward me for all of this, I'm doing pretty good. As opposed to this other person who can't even recite the Fatiha, as opposed to that other person who can't even do this X, Y, or Z, they don't even pray in the masjid or whatever else, you start comparing yourself thinking you're doing pretty good because you're, you're in the light. And that, by the way, that sense of superiority is probably the worst of all of the other vices I mentioned. When you start thinking and I start thinking that I stand in a better place than another human being before Allah, that pride is actually the, a replica of the pride of the devil. Why, why did he say I'm superior? <laughs> you know? The, the sense of superiority, you know, تِلْكَ الدَّارُ الْآخِرَةِ نَجْعَلُهَا لِلَّذِينَ لَا يُرِيدُونَ عُلُوًا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فَسَادًا وَالْعَاقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ I'm being asked to move all of you forward, so move forward as much as you can.